Where do I begin to tell the love story of the Terry Scott Hair Company? Oh. I'm Mike and this is KalimaTV.com. Today we're at the Terry Scott Hairdressing Salon in the Lucia Mall in Durban. We've come to meet Terry Scott and his team of high-end stylists. For those of you who don't know, Kaluma means to talk in the Zulu language. Today we're talking high-end hairdressing salon. The Scott family have been in this business for many, many years and we're about to check out their setup here in the Lulucia Mall. At the end of the day, none of this could happen without all my stars. Yeah! Yeah! It all started, it all started um, many, many years ago. From Stutterfords. From Stutterfords. Did you hear that? From Stutterfords. Yeah. I started as a 15 year old boy at Stutterfords, walked into the salon as all my old colleagues would say. He walked in and the first day conducted himself like he owned the place and uh, nothing's ever changed. Um, the rest is, uh, you know, history. Louis, our salon manager. Make sure the clients are happy, to make sure the salon's run, to make sure the salon's spotlessly clean, and to make sure my boss is happy at the end of the day. I've been coming to Terry for the last 42 years, and I absolutely love him. Behind me on the wall, you'll see Terry's got through the ages. From a, from a three-year-old or two-year-old, right up to a 67-year-old, a little bit of history on the company. Um, we offer people a little more than they get anywhere else. We offer a friendly atmosphere, upmarket service. I have nothing but the best products that are available in the country. Currently, the men's South African male champion is Sean Snipes, who works for me. You've met our Sean Snipes. He's currently the men's South African hair champion, which you'll be able to see uh, with him wielding his little red uh, number here. Um, Sean has been appointed the Terry Scott uh, creative director and uh, our educator. Earlier on you asked me a few things about the salon, who we are, what we are. That is our prime objective as well, to empower young people, to train young people. Um, what is the function of a creative director? Well, the creative director is the guy that is in charge of education. He has to currently be on top of what's happening. He goes on Instagram, he goes on to the computer and sees what's happening, as well as regularly visiting London with me. We're both very um, fortunate enough to visit the big international hair show in London every year, bringing back the latest, the greatest, as quickly as it's on the floor there, and it's on the floor here the following day. He, he enables and teaches the kids the philosophy of the Terry Scott Hair Company. We pride ourselves on a philosophy of being the best, giving the best service, and he's my sort of right-hand man like that. This is my beautiful wife who's made this all possible. Without her, I wouldn't have this company. She's been uh, my backbone, my confidant, my everything. She is my everything. So it's very much a family business. Tell me about that part. Well, family-wise, I started off, my mum was a hairdresser, so I kind of gravitated towards that profession. Generations of the Scott family here in the salon today. Correct. Our eldest son's the general manager. I'm the numbers man, I look after everything but the head. <laughs> Other son's Michael, who lives in Cape Town, has his own salon. Claire Ann is here with me, and mum runs the show on Fridays and Saturdays. Third generation, this is Michael. Michael's uh, my grandson, turning 17 soon, and he's hopefully going to follow in his granddad's footsteps. 